Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I always wanted to make this video, uh, making a tutorial video on Illustrator. It's one of the apps that I always use. Uh, I started using it in undergrad, in a class, and I had no desire or interest in using it, but I fell in love with the application and I use it for so many things. I know that it could be very intimidating to use, but it's fun once you get the hang of it. In fact, I just realized I used it to make my little my little mouse pad. Yeah, I made it. All right, let's get started. This is happening, us two, together. All right, so I would say that one of the first important things to know is how to start a new document. We'll click Control N. Ah, there we go. And we will title this, Hello. Uh, and then I always stay RGB. Create. Uh, some of the basic stuff that I think we should all know is how to save, file, save, or control S. Over time, you'll learn to use some of these shortcuts. So control S, save as, control shift S, open, control O to move around, space, hold on space, and you can just move around. If you would like to zoom out, control minus, and to zoom in, control plus. Cool. A lot of the tools that you'll use are on the left side displayed here. And these are different um, assets that you can use. Uh, so on the left, these tools are always going to be here. On the right, you can, uh, depending on the application, you can either delete some of these or um, add some more. And to change it, you can just click here, the switch workplace. By default, it's always either Essentials or Essentials Classic. I just stay with Essentials Classic. So let's start with the most uh, basic tool. Right now I'm using the selection tool seen up here. The shortcut for this is V. The first tool that we're going to use is the uh, rectangle tool, or M. So we can make rectangles, cool. And if you want to make a square, if you want to proportionally adjust the size, hold down shift. So that's how you're able to change that. Um, we can also change, oops, control Z is to undo. We can also rotate it. But let's say you want to rotate it exactly 45 degrees, okay? So let's make another rectangle here, or let's make a square. If we want to rotate it 45 degrees, hold down shift and rotate. And then it also rotates 90. Okay, let's delete these. Let's make a new square. Click M, hold down shift to make a square. If I want to change the fill right here, let's do red, red fill. And let's do a uh, black border. This is the stroke is the thickness. Let's do a thickness of three. Um, right now I'm still in the rectangle tool. I'm gonna click V for the selection tool because let's say I wanna move it. If I wanna change the opacity or the transparency, I click here, let's do 50%. Uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste it. So control C, control V to paste. I'm gonna change the opacity to 100. Now one of the most important things that I, that I use is the layers tool seen here on the right. And let's name this layer uh, red squares. It comes in clutch. Uh, the eye icon over here is to make it visible. And let's say you don't want to mess with this layer at all. You can lock it so you don't accidentally move anything or delete something. And to add a new layer, just click here. So this is the rectangle tool. If I want to make another shape, let's say uh, a triangle, within the rectangle tool, if you hold down, you'll see a subset of other tools. So we can make a polygon. But we want to make a triangle, right? So I can hold this down and using the arrow key, clicking down, I can change the number of sides I want. So I want three. If I hold down shift, it stays in a, a vertical orientation. For some reason, I want to soften, soften the edges of my shape. I can click on this little circle and drag it in. And voila. 
Same thing with the square. I can also soften the edges to make it a little rounder. I don't think soften is the right word. Because I think of feathering. The next tool that I think is important to use is the direct selection tool. So first let's make our square again. So the shortcut for square is M. We're gonna hold down shift because we want our sides to be proportionate. I'm gonna click V, which is the selection tool to move it. Um, maybe for this one, I don't want any borders. So I'm gonna click this little icon, click the corner. I can adjust it however I want to like that. Next is the type tool. Shortcut is T. Let's say I want to, oops. hello, my name is Darian. If I want to adjust the font, control A is to select all. Let's say I want the font to be, uh, oh, I downloaded this the other day. The size right here, let's do 20. I can also change the color. Let's do blue, yeah. Now, once you're in this type tool, you can't use any shortcuts. Let's say I wanna go back to the selection tool. If I type V, it's gonna be typed in the text. Control Z to undo. So this one, you have to manually go back to the selection tool. If you wanna change the size, hold shift. Because if you don't hold shift, this is what happens. And you want to proportionally change it, right? Next is the eyedropper tool. This comes in handy when I am using a color palette and I want uh, colors in that palette to be in my artwork. So let's go back to the selection tool. And what I do is I will screenshot or screen grab a color palette. In fact, I will do that off screen. So I just copied that. Now I'm gonna paste it in here. Paste it. I'm gonna make five squares. So M. Okay, and I'm going to copy, paste. I'm gonna select both of these, copy, paste. And there are five colors, so I'm gonna make five boxes. And I'm going to use the eyedrop tool. So I'm gonna click on this, I, click, selection tool or V, click on this square, I, keep doing that. Sweet, so now we have our color palette. Now I'm gonna delete this uh, reference image because now I have my colors that I, that I need. So click here, or the selection tool, delete. Another thing that I find very useful is, um, let's say if I want to straighten this up. I will align them and then equally distribute them here. Maybe let's say it's, it's too spaced out. I want them to be closer together, okay? So put it here, same thing. Center it and then equally distribute. If I need to group them, control G or I can just select them, right click and group. So these are grouped together. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it and now I'm gonna ungroup it. To ungroup it, you can either select all of it or just select it because it's already grouped together. Select and then ungroup or the shortcut is Control Shift G. Let's say, hmm, I like all of them, but I don't like the orange color. I don't need the orange color. Shift, select, select, not clicking the orange and voila. Let's say I am happy with this. This is what I wanted, yay. Next is file export. I either will export as a TIFF file or a PNG. Now if you do a PNG, the background will be transparent. And you also have the option of keeping the artboard in the picture or out. And yeah, that's it. We did it, together. Congrats on making it through this video and learning something. I hope you learned something. Please let me know what you liked in this video and also please let me know what you did not like. I'm wanting to make a follow-up video and I will take your feedback into consideration. I'll talk to the rest of the judges and we'll see what they have to say. Also in the description of this video, I'm gonna list out all the shortcut keys that I think are very important. And also maybe some, some links to other videos that I think are very useful. I am always giving out free merch in every single video. In my previous video, I asked everyone to comment a certain emoji. And the winner of free lab shenanigans merch is Sydney 
Anderson. Thank you so much for participating. If you want a chance to win free merch, comment down a um, brain emoji and I'll announce the winner in my next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like, and do the other YouTube things that other YouTubers ask. Alrighty, thank you all so much and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.